We're here at Startup Alley at TechCrunch Disrupt in San Francisco, and I'm joined by Josh Montgomery, who's the founder and CEO of Mycroft. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thank you for having me. So we'll start with the important stuff. First, I'm told you had a mohawk yesterday, and you shaved it before this interview. A blue, uh, a blue mohawk, a giant blue mohawk. Uh, I was feeling a little rebellious. I'm an Air Force officer. I got off drill weekend about 10 days ago, and just I had to have the mohawk. So go blue. And, but not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I shaved my mohawk just so I could uh, talk to you. Darn. I mean, you would have been my first CEO interview with a mohawk. Exactly. So that would have been it was special. A, it was a little different. <laughs> but so, okay, so what is Mycroft? So Mycroft is the open source community's answer to Siri or Amazon Alexa. We're building a voice assistant that can be used by anyone from an individual to a big corporate corporation to build the type of voice experience that you see coming from Google or Amazon uh, into your own products or services. So I understand you work with companies and you also have a direct to consumer version. How, do, how does this all work? Sure, we have two big constituencies we serve. We have this great open source community that contributes all this technology and creativity. And for them, we provide an open software stack they can use wherever they want to use. We also wanted to give them a reference device. And so we sell a, a little device that they can put on their desk to do development. But our other constituency is corporate America, companies that want to deploy a voice assistant in their products, uh, but for whatever strategic reason, don't want to send their data to Google and Amazon and Facebook. And so we've been working very closely with Jaguar Land Rover up in Portland and, and have a number of other corporate partners that are looking to use the technology. And so tell us a little bit about this direct-to-consumer product. Uh, you have it here under sure, this? Sure, this is the, uh, the first public display of the new Mark II. Uh, the Mark II is being designed for consumers uh, to put on a, a, a desk or in your kitchen. It provides a very similar experience to what you've come to expect from Google Home and Alexa, uh, but it does it in an open way so that you can build your own skills. And we've got developers that are doing all kinds of really interesting things with the technology from tracking the International Space Station to making it rap Eminem lyrics and everything in between. <laughs> Important stuff here. So how much does that cost? Uh, we're looking to bring this to market for $99. Um, and that really provides us with additional funding that we need to keep improving the user experience. And what's on the screen here? Sure, uh, one of the unique things about the technology that we're bringing out is it's anthropomorphic. So it's, it's personal and it has a personality. Uh, it's something that ideally you can build almost a friendship with. And so we're doing animations on the screen that show the voice assistant responding to the user, show it talking. Um, in this case, the person's adding uh, something to their shopping list. Uh, and the screen really makes the experience very different because you're able to do visual displays of weather and calendars and shopping lists and other things, as well as play videos and music. Uh, so it's, it's a very different experience from what we've come to expect from you know, an anonymous black cylinder. All right, well, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you very it. much, Katie.